This channel is all about longer classes and challenging poses, and today's class is a strong power yoga flow that's really going to help you strengthen your body and your mind. Welcome to Yoga Dose. My name is Cece. Today we're going to begin lying on our back in Supta Baddha Konasana with the bottoms of our feet together and our knees spread apart. Take a few moments to connect to your Ujjayi Pranayama. Breathing deep inhales and exhales through the nose and out through the nose with a slight constriction in the back of your neck. Notice how your body is feeling. Maybe pay attention to maybe the tightness in your hips. Maybe the places your body touches the mat. Gently bring your knees together. And focus on engaging Uddiyana Bandha, drawing the lower belly in so that the lower back is pressed against the ground. So you are posteriorly tilting your pelvis so that the lower back rests flat on the ground. Keep that core engagement and then lift your legs up into a 90 degree angle in sort of a tabletop position. Bring your hands behind your head and start taking yogi bicycles. Straightening one leg and then the other and twisting opposite elbow towards opposite knee each time. Keep that engagement in the low belly keeping the lower back firmly on the ground. Moving slowly here, warming up and awakening the abdominal muscles. A few more yogi bicycles here. Breathing steady. Lowering one leg at a time. Reaching elbow towards knee, keeping your legs active. Now pick up the pace, moving double time. Quicker yogi bicycles now. Switch, switch, switch. Moving at your own pace. Still working to keep the lower back on the ground, belly drawing in. A few more repetitions here. Now hug your knees in towards your chest, Apanasana pose. Then releasing the left leg out on the ground, keep the right knee in towards the chest. And then maybe lift the left leg a couple inches off the ground, reaching the arms forward. And to move even deeper, begin to straighten the right leg. Keeping the same core engagement as you did in the yogi bicycles. Breathing steady. And then reaching your upper body off the ground, touch hands in between your legs and then lower back down, taking a few repetitions here just like this. Lying back down, using your core to lift yourself up, clap hands and then lower back down. Now bring your left leg up to meet your right, put your hands behind your head, squeeze your core together, reaching up towards the legs, holding here in this static position. And then lower the right leg down, bring it back up, and then lower the left leg. Switching legs here. You can always rest your head on the ground if you have tension in your neck. Keep switching legs. You can always bend the knees as well if straight legs is too much. Really firing up the core here. Strong engagement in Uddiyana Bandha and Mula Bandha, the muscles of the pelvic floor. A few more here. And then hug your knees back into your chest for Apanasana. Take a breather. Now, this time keeping the left leg into the chest, lower the right leg down on the ground. 
and then maybe lift it a couple inches off the ground. Extend your arms out in front of you. Engaging your core again, try to keep that posterior tilt and maybe straightening the left leg. Repeating the core sequence on the left side. Breathe deep with your ujjayi pranayama. Holding here with the left leg raised, maybe bending the knee. And on your next inhale, reach up, clap hands and lower down. Take a few repetitions just like this, moving at your own pace. Rising up, lowering down. Then bring your hands, maybe interlace them behind your head or if your lower back is feeling any discomfort, bring your hands underneath your hips and then switch legs, lowering one leg down at a time, scissoring the legs, maybe keeping the legs straight if you can, otherwise bend the knees. Lower the right leg, lift it back up, lower the left leg, raise it back up, lower the right leg. Moving just like this, a few more repetitions. Uddiyana Bandha drawing in strongly. Maybe bring your hands back behind your head if they aren't already there. Keep the legs straight and extended, lifting the chest off the ground, squeezing the core muscles together. And then release, hug the knees back into the chest for Apanasana. Maybe you're rocking a little bit side to side this time. Giving your lower back a little massage. Begin to roll yourself up and down along the spine. And on your next rock up, land on your feet, plant the feet firmly, and take a standing forward fold. Maybe a gentle forward fold. If you have tightness in the hamstrings, maybe bend the knees. You can clasp opposite elbows, sway side to side. And then plant your hands down and bend one knee at a time, maybe bending the right knee first, keeping the left leg straight, and then switch legs, warming up the hamstrings. This is one of my favorite ways to warm up the hamstrings at the beginning of a practice. Keep alternating, pedaling down through the legs. Then on your next inhale, lengthen the spine, maybe hands on shins. And then exhale, fold all the way forward, option to keep a bend in the knees. And then inhale, rise all the way up with your arms overhead. And exhale, arms by the sides for Samasthitihi. Take a second to root down through your feet, big toes together, heels slightly apart, making sure the outer edges of the feet are parallel belly drawing in. And then inhale, raise your arms up and overhead, maybe grasping the right wrist with the left hand, leaning over to the left, taking a side stretch through the right side body. Inhale and come back to center, and then switch sides, using your right hand to grasp your left, left wrist, stretching out through the left side body. Inhale back to center, and then exhale and fold all the way forward over your legs. Inhale, plant the hands, lengthen the spine, Ardha Uttanasana. And then exhale, plant the hands, hop or step back into Chaturanga Dandasana. Slowly lower all the way down to your stomach. Extend the arms alongside your body, top of the hands planted and lift up into a gentle locust pose, Shalabhasana. Keeping your entire stomach on the ground, lengthen out through your chest and out through your toes. Holding here a few more breaths. And then bring the wrists underneath the elbows for Shalabhasana B variation. Still keeping lifted, engaging the muscles in the low back. Keeping the hands planted, lift yourself into upward facing dog. And then exhale, lift your hips up and back for your first downward facing dog, Adho Mukha Svanasana. And maybe take this opportunity to bend one knee and then the other, pedaling through your heels. Again, stretching out the hamstrings, the back of the legs. 
Bend the knees, gaze forward, and step to the top of your mat. Inhale, lengthen the spine, and then exhale, fold all the way forward. Inhale, rise up with your arms overhead, and exhale into Samasitihi. Again, inhale, raise your arms up and overhead. Exhale, fold forward over the legs. Inhale, lengthen the spine, and exhale, plant the hands, hop or step back for Chaturanga, maybe slowly lowering all the way back down to your stomach. Moving into Shalabhasana. Release and make your way into Downward Facing Dog, Adho Mukha Svanasana. Keep your feet hip distance apart, your hands shoulder distance apart with your fingers spread wide. Draw the shoulders away from the ears. Now bend the knees, gaze forward, hop or step up to the top of your mat. Inhale, lengthen the spine, and exhale, fold forward over the legs. Inhale, root down through your feet as you rise up, arms overhead, and exhale into Samastitihi. Again, inhale, raise your arms up overhead, gaze following the thumbs. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, plant the hands, Chaturanga. Inhale, lift the chin, lift the chest, upward facing dog. And exhale, lift the hips up and back, downward facing dog. Taking a gentle gaze towards the knees, in between the thighs, or maybe up towards the navel. Bend the knees, gaze forward, hop or step up to your hands. Inhale, lengthen and exhale, fold forward. Inhale, rise up with your arms overhead, and exhale, Samastiti. Again, inhale, arms overhead. Exhale, fold forward over the legs. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, plant the hands, move through Chaturanga. Inhale into Urdhva Mukha, upward facing dog and exhale into Adho Mukha Svanasana, downward facing dog. Building heat in your body, Surya Namaskar A, sun salutations. One breath per movement, steady breathing. Gaze forward in between your hands, bend the knees, hop or step up, lengthen the spine, inhale. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, rise up with your arms overhead, gaze following, and exhale, Samasitihi. Moving to Surya B now, deep bend in the knees, coming into chair pose, Utkatasana, low belly drawing in strongly. Exhale, fold forward over the legs, maybe with straight legs now. Inhale, lengthen, and exhale, plant the hands, move through Chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing dog and exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale the right foot in between the hands, rising up for warrior one, Virabhadrasana B. Back foot planted at a 45 degree angle. Exhale, plant the hands, lower down Chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing dog. And exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale the left foot in between the hands, this time warrior one. Lined up front heel to back heel. Exhale, plant the hands, lower down, chaturanga, shoulders no lower than elbows. Inhale, upward facing dog, and exhale, downward facing dog. Make sure whenever you jump back into chaturanga, your elbows are bent to protect your shoulders. And when you lower down, don't drop your shoulders lower than your elbows, just to protect them longevity for your practice. Bend the knees, gaze forward, hop or step up, inhale, lengthen, exhale, fold. Inhale, deep bend in the knees, chair pose, and exhale, Samastitihi. Again, inhale, bend the knees, Utkatasana, chair pose. Exhale, folding forward. Inhale, lengthen, and exhale, Chaturanga. Inhale, Urdhva Mukha. 
and exhale, Adho Mukha. Inhale the right foot in between the hands, rising up, warrior one. Gaze towards the thumbs. Plant the hands, move through Chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing dog. And exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, left foot steps in between the hands, rise up, warrior one. Exhale, plant the hands down, lower through Chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing dog. And exhale, downward facing dog. Make sure you're creating a long spine. And if you need to, you can keep a bend in the knees and downward facing dog or keep the heels off the ground. They never have to touch. Gaze forward, bend the knees, hop or step up on your inhale. Exhale, fold forward over the legs. Inhale, bend the knees, rise up, chair pose. And exhale, Samasthiti. Inhale, bend the knees, Utkatasana, chair pose, low belly, drawing in, lengthen the spine. Exhale, folding forward over the legs. Inhale, lengthen the spine. Exhale, Chaturanga. Inhale, Urdhva Mukha. Exhale, Adho Mukha. Inhale, right foot in between the hands, warrior one. Exhale, plant the hands, bend the elbows, Chaturanga. Inhale, Urdhva Mukha. Exhale, Adho Mukha. Inhale, left leg, warrior one. Building lots of heat in the body. Exhale, plant the hands, bend the elbows, Chaturanga Dandasana. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Regain your steady breath. Inhales as long as the exhales. Steady breathing and conscious movement. Couple more breaths here in Adho Mukha Svanasana. Inhale, step your right foot forward, this time rising up into warrior two, lining up front heel with back arch, arms extended gaze over the front middle fingers, your triceps engaged. Your torso parallel with the left side of the mat. Keep a deep bend in the front knee, thigh parallel to the mat. And then inhale, keeping the bend in the knee, reverse your warrior, dropping the left hand maybe on your thigh or shin, raising the right arm up and overhead. Gaze can follow the right hand. Sink a little bit deeper into that front right knee. Feel the quadricep engage. Inhale, rise back up, warrior two. Come up to a T position. Toes facing the left side of the mat. Grab the waist, inhale, and then exhale. Make your way into Prasarita A. Your hands, you, your wrists should be parallel to your heels or in line with your heels. The crown of the head may be resting on the ground or a block. And if you want to move deeper, take this opportunity to move into a tripod headstand, straddling your legs. Holding here in tripod, otherwise you're holding in Prasarita A, engaging the inner thighs. If you're up in tripod, Split the legs, slowly, slowly lower them down, coming back to Prasarita A. Inhale, press through the hands, lengthen the spine. Exhale, grab the waist. Inhale, rise all the way up. And then turning towards your left foot now, taking warrior two, facing the back of your mat now. Deep bend in the left leg. Arms extended, gazing over the front middle fingers. 
making sure you have weight in the outer edge of the back right foot. Check your back arm and make sure it's in line with the front. And then on your next inhale, reverse your warrior, keeping that deep bend in the front right, front left knee. Right hand now maybe reaching back for your right thigh, maybe your shin or calf. Bend one more inch into that front left knee and then inhale, rise back up, warrior two. Cartwheel your hands down towards the back of your mat, taking Ekapada Bakasana, taking the left knee to the outside of the left tricep, rising the right leg off the ground, and then shoot your legs back into Chaturanga. Move through your vinyasa or go straight to downward facing dog. Regain your steady breathing. This is a somewhat of a circular flow, so we'll move from the back to the front of the mat a few times. Inhale now, stepping the left foot in between the hands, rising up into warrior two. Deep bend in the front left knee, weight in the outer edge of the right foot, Right thigh spiraling in. Now reverse your warrior. Keeping the bend in the left knee, lower your right hand to the back of your leg left arm extended and then straighten the left front leg moving into a um, reverse trikonasana come up to a T maybe shorten your stance and move into Utita trikonasana triangle pose wrapping first two finger and thumb around your left big toes or taking your hand on your shin or on a block Try to make your spine parallel to the mat, weight in the ball of the left foot. Breathing steady here. Conscious Ujjayi Pranayama. Inhale, rise up to a T position. Grab your waist, lengthen the spine, moving into Prasarita B. Exhale, fold all the way forward, maybe reaching the crown of the head towards the mat. Your toes can be slightly pointed in towards each other. Belly drawing in strongly using your fingers as a reminder to engage Uddiyana Bandha strongly, squeezing the inner thighs towards each other. A couple more breaths. Inhale, rise all the way up, and then turn towards the front of your mat, towards the right leg, taking warrior two, deep bend in the right knee, Knee right over the ankle and weight in the heel. Make sure your bandhas are engaged even in these standing postures. Inhale, reverse your warrior. Drop the left hand towards your calf or your thigh. Stretching out through the right side body. 
Straighten the front right leg, stretching out through the side body even more. Come up to a T. Maybe shorten your stance if you'd like to. Move into Uttita Trikonasana Triangle Pose. First two finger and thumb wrapped around the big toe. If you're holding the big toe, actively press the big toe against the first two finger and thumb. Feel the resistance and the opposition. Actively rooting down and lifting up at the same time. Working towards the spine that's parallel to the mat. Reaching out through the crown of your head. If you're steady, you can take your drishti or your gaze up towards your extended hand. Now windmill your hands down, taking Ekapada Bakasana on the right side, right knee balancing on right tricep, left leg lifts, and then either shoot back through Chaturanga, taking a vinyasa, or go straight to downward facing dog. Inhale, step the left foot in between the hands, coming up into warrior two. So you're facing the front of your mat, you have a deep bend in the front left knee, your arms are extended out. Really engage the tricep muscles, you want active arms. Envision someone pulling your fingertips away from each other, you want so much length. Inhale, reverse your warrior. Straighten the front left leg, reverse triangle pose. Rise up to a T, maybe shorten your stance. Utita Trikonasana triangle pose. Both legs straight. Drawing your calf muscle of the left leg towards the shin and also lifting through the left kneecap, engaging the quad. You want very active legs. Turn your gaze down, moving into Ardha Chandrasana. Plant the left hand about a foot ahead, extending out through the right leg, pressing through the heel. Maybe take your gaze up towards your right hand if you're feeling steady and balanced. Rooting down throat so strongly through the left foot. Now lift your left hand off the ground. See if you can find some balance here before you gently lower the right leg down. Point both your toes towards the right side of your mat. Interlace your fingers behind your back. Inhale and exhale, fold into Prasarita C, reaching the crown of the head towards the ground. Fingers interlaced behind your back. On your inhales, lengthen the arms away from your body, and on your exhales, let gravity draw your hands closer towards the ground. Belly drawing in so strongly. You want that strong engagement in your bandhas. Inhale, rise all the way up, turning towards the back of your mat. This time the right knee is bent, warrior two. Keeping that deep bend in the front right knee, work those leg muscles. You might feel them start to fatigue. Keep weight in the outer edge of the left foot. Inhale. 
inhale, reverse your warrior, bending even deeper into the front right knee. And then begin to straighten the right leg, reverse triangle. Rise up to a T, maybe shorten your stance if you prefer, moving into Utita Trikonasana Triangle Pose once again. Both legs straight here. Noticing any sensations in your body. Being gentle with it and doing what feels good today, even if that means using blocks or not going as deep as you normally do. Turn your gaze down towards the mat. Grab your waist with the left hand, plant the right hand about a foot ahead of the pinky, rising up Ardha Chandrasana Half Moon Pose. Left hand extended, gaze towards the left hand, actively pressing out through the heel of the left foot. Envision yourself as a starfish, spreading out through your limbs very actively, finding your balance. Slowly lower, down, planting the hands, taking Ekapada Bakasana on the right side once again. Move through your vinyasa. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. You can always go straight to downward facing dog or take child's pose. Listen to your body and do what feels best. Inhale, step the right foot in between the hands, rising up. Warrior two, front heel lined up with back arch. Keep this warrior two strong, even though your legs may start to fatigue. Building so much strength here in these standing postures, building so much heat. Inhale, reverse your warrior, taking your gaze up towards your right hand. Straighten the front leg, reverse trigonasana. Come up to a T position on your inhale and exhale, move into Utita trigonasana, maybe shortening the stance if you'd like. Or you have an option to keep the length in the stance and just see how that feels on your body. Sometimes tighter leg muscles prefer a longer stance and more flexible bodies prefer more of a shorter stance. So just experiment and see what feels good for you. Plant the right hand moving back into Ardha Chandras in the half moon pose. Maybe this time, binding left hand with left foot. If you're binding, press the foot against the hand strongly, lifting the knee even higher. And maybe take the gaze up towards the ceiling or the sky if you're outside. Very slowly, maybe balancing, lower down into Utita Parjvokonasana, side angle pose. Right hand on the outside of the right foot, left arm extended overhead, pinky facing down. Press the right knee into the right bicep. Inhale, rise up to a T position. Grab the waist, point the toes forward, and exhale, fold forward into Prasarita D possibly your deepest forward fold of class. Bending the elbows, keeping a hold of the big toes, reaching the crown of the head down, belly drawing in. Again, resisting the big toes against the fingers. Feel that opposition. 
Maybe if you want to plant your hands in a tripod position and take one more opportunity to go upside down. Otherwise, keep breathing in your prasarita D. You're upside down, finding balance, drawing the low ribs towards the hips and the tailbone towards the heels. Slowly split the legs, lowering back down into prasarita D. Inhale, grab the waist, exhale everything out. Inhale, rise all the way up. Then turn towards the front of your mat with the left knee bent in Virabhadrasana B, Warrior 2. Gazing over the front middle fingers, strong drishti. Your drishti is your gaze or a focal point. Helps to keep the mind steady. Sometimes if you let your eyes wander, your mind will wander as well. Stay present in this warrior too. And then inhale, reverse your warrior. Maybe bending even deeper into that front left knee. Weight in the heel. And then straighten the left leg, reverse trikonasana. Come up to a T. Maybe shorten the stance of your choice. Utita trikonasana triangle pose. Engaging Mula Bandha, the muscles of the pelvic floor. Active legs. Gaze towards the ground, moving into Ardha Chandrasana, planting the left hand, rising the right leg up. Option here to take the bind, binding right hand with the top of the right foot, bending the right knee, stamping the foot against the hand, lifting the knee even higher. Challenge your balance by gazing up towards the ceiling. Release the bind, slowly lower the right leg down to the ground, moving into Utita Parshva Konasana, extended side angle pose. You want weight in the back right foot, and then you want to feel a stretch all the way from that outer edge of the back foot all the way out through your extended fingertips. Windmill your hands down to the mat, taking our last Ekapada Bakasana on the left side. And then shoot back into Chaturanga. Inhale, Urdhva Mukha. And exhale, Adho Mukha Shvanasana, Downward Facing Dog. Regain your steady breathing. Shift forward into a plank position, shoulders right over the wrists. Feet hip distance and then maybe lift the right leg off the ground a few inches, keeping level hips, belly drawing in. Switch legs, keeping the left leg lifted off a few inches off the ground, maybe a foot. Whatever you can do to keep your hips level. And then draw your right knee in towards your chest. Belly drawing in, holding here. And then extend the right leg out, moving into a fallen triangle pose. Reaching the left leg overhead and then slowly lower your hips down to the mat. Sitting down in a wide legged position I'll turn and face the camera so it's easier to see, but you can stay where you are. Moving into Upavishta Konasana, grab the big toes with the first two finger and thumb, inhale, lengthen, exhale, draw the belly in, and fold forward. 
wide leg forward fold here. Keeping the belly engaged to protect your lower spine. That's so important. Inhale, lengthen. Maybe grab blocks if you have them. We're going to take a wide leg lift off. Plant the hands around the right leg. Lift the bum and the feet off the ground, holding up. More engaged. You can do this without blocks. Blocks just give you more space. And then exhale, taking a side stretch over on the right leg. The right hand on the inside of the shin, left arm up and overhead, maybe reaching for the big toes. Inhale, rising back up. Let's take the lift off on the left leg now, planting the hands or the blocks around the left thigh, lifting up. Holding everything up, a couple breaths. Keep the head lifted, the head is heavy. Slowly lower down. Take that side stretch over on the left leg. Whenever you're doing lift offs, I recommend keeping your head and your chin lifted. The head weighs about 10 pounds or so, and um, when you drop your head, it just makes it even harder to hold yourself up. Now turn towards the front of your mat, hug the knees in, and move into Navasana Boat Pose. You can keep a bend in the knees, arms extended out in front of you. Lower down into Ardha Navasana, low back on the ground, and just like the beginning of class, work towards pressing that lower back firmly on the mat. Inhale, rise back up for Navasana Boat Pose. Exhale, lower down, Ardha Navasana. Building so much strength. Inhale, back up Navasana. Hug the knees in towards your chest. Plant the hands, maybe shooting the legs back, Chaturanga. Inhale, lift the chin and chest, Urdhva Mukha. And exhale, hips up and back, Ardha Mukha Shrinasana. Shift forward into plank position again. Moving through that same sequence, lift the right leg up a couple inches in this plank, level hips. Switch legs, lift the left leg up. Now draw the left knee into the chest, round through the upper spine, belly drawing in strongly. Then extend the left leg out towards the right side of the mat, moving into fallen triangle pose, taking the right hand this time up and overhead. And then slowly lower the sit bones down, coming back into a wide leg position. Upavishta Konasana, this time with the hands around the outsides of the feet. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, navel drawing in strongly and fold forward as much as you can. If you can easily reach your forehead to the mat, then maybe try to reach your chin forward, touching the ground instead. Keep your thighs active, feet pointing towards the ceiling. Inhale, rise all the way up. Maybe grab your blocks again for another wide leg lift off. Planting the hands or the blocks around the right leg, lifting everything up. You can move into Ekapada Kwindanyasana if you'd like. Bringing the leg back through. Lower everything down. Steady breathing. Take that side stretch again along the right leg. Regaining your steady breathing. Preparing for the left side. Moving to the left side, taking the lift off, maybe moving into Ekapada Kwindanyasana, your choice. Holding everything up. And lower back down. Taking the side stretch on the left side. It's 
steady breathing as we begin to wind down the practice. Turn towards the front of your mat. Roll onto your back. Spread the legs wide. Grab the big toes. Roll up to your sit bones, maybe catching the balance, keeping a hold of the big toes with wide legs. And take your gaze upward towards the ceiling, chin up. Bring your legs together, moving into Navasana now. You can keep straight legs in Navasana or bend the knees. Maybe even rest the toes on the mat. Lower down Ardha Navasana. Inhale up Navasana, boat pose. Lower back down, Ardha Navasana. Inhale up, boat pose. Holding here, you can do it. Lower back down for Ardha. And then lie all the way down on your back. Good work. Moving into bridge pose. Draw the heels towards the glutes, feet hip distance apart. Using the hamstrings to lift up the glutes, keep the chin away from the chest, pressing the hands on the mat. If you want to, you have an option to grab blocks if you have them handy. Place them underneath your feet. This really helps in full Urdhva Dhanurasana if you have any tension in your lower back. Lifting up into full Urdhva, or just take another bridge. Lower down to the crown of your head if you're up. And inhale, rise up again. Spiral the inner thighs towards each other so strongly as though you're squeezing a block in between them. Exhale, lower to the crown of the head. Inhale, rise back up again, maybe bridge or Urdhva Dhanurasana. Working towards getting your shoulders over your wrists. Exhale, slowly lower down, head and neck first. Being gentle with your body. Maybe hug the knees in towards your chest. Rock side to side to massage the lower back. You can move into happy baby, grab the outer edges of the feet. Rocking side to side. Drawing the knees towards the armpits. Release happy baby. Cross your right ankle over your left knee. And then drop your knees over to the right side taking a supine twist. This just makes the twist a little bit deeper, but you can always just take a regular supine twist if you prefer that. Inhale, rise back up, this time crossing the left ankle over the right knee, dropping the legs over to the left side. Twisting like this or just dropping the knees gently over to the left. Maybe gazing over the right shoulder. If you have blocks handy, you can set them up so that you have one block under your thoracic spine and one under the back of your head. And then bring the bottoms of your feet back together in Supta Bada, Bada Konasana. You can feel free to take Shavasana this way or take a more traditional Shavasana, lying down with your feet as wide as your mat, arms extended, letting your body sink into the mat releasing your ujjayi breathing and soaking in the benefits of the practice.
If you're on blocks, begin to bring small movements back to your body. Maybe bringing the knees back towards each other and slowly making your way off the blocks into a seated position. And if you're lying down, feel free to just slowly make your way out of your Shavasana. Meeting in the seated position, bringing your hands to heart center. Thank you so much for practicing with me today. Namaste. I found this video from Jacqueline Way about happiness and it is incredible. She talks about how you can be happy every day and how that will change your world. Her story and her tips are super inspirational and I really loved it.